Hi guys, welcome to CA Inter MCQs. We are doing a chapter of material costing. If anybody wants to be enrolling in our courses, you can read the description. Our telegram channel and the group description is also given below. Kindly check it up. So today the question for us is in which of the following methods of pricing cost lag behind current economic value. Okay. So four options, A, LIFO, B, FIFO, C, replacement cost and D, weighted average price. Think it is easy answer. I'll explain the meaning of the question. Under which of the methods, cost lag behind current economic value. Current economic value means current worth of those goods. So think of the correct answer. Comment in the section below, please. Okay, so I think so. Uh, think like this that we purchased the goods. Okay, suppose in the first month we purchased 500 units at the rate of 2 and then prices increased to 3, then 4, then 5, then 6 up and so on. Say 50 units were remaining in end. If it is the LIFO method, these goods will be valued at rupees 2. That is the first lot. Okay. But 2 does not represent the current worth of those goods. Okay. So, in this case, cost lag behind the current economic value. Yes, cost lag behind the current economic value. Especially this statement is true when there is an inflationary trend of the raw materials. So, answer should be A. In fact, in B, it will be all correct because the goods will get valued at the latest slot. So, therefore, it is all proper. Under replacement price, replacement price means once you issue the goods, then you'll have to be purchasing the goods. At what price will you purchase them? You record the goods issued at that price. So therefore, that will usually be correct only. Okay. Further, in this case, D, weighted average price, will be usually average of all the prices. So somewhere or the other, like, you know, automatically the current price will also flow in. Okay. But under the LIFO method, like, you know, the stock that will remain with us will be out of the oldest lot. So therefore, that does not represent the current economic value. Okay, so answer should be A over here. A is the correct answer. I'll see you all next time. Bye. See you.